Hello everyone, this is Christopher Carrington with GMUstudent.com and now we are going to start part 3 of our tutorial of how to submit a form with Ajax. Now before we get further anywhere with this tutorial series, I want to make sure that everyone set up their Ajax object correctly. Because after the previous tutorial I realized that I even had a little bit of a typo. So I want you guys to compare whatever you have to what I have and definitely make sure that your window.xml HTTP request looks like mine. Because in the previous tutorial, for some reason, I had caps lock on and it said capital XML, but then I also capitalized HTTP request. So make sure that everything looks like mine. And a good way that you can check this is if you remember, what we said is if the Ajax object is not configured, then we should get an alert prompt for the um, screen. So if you guys come to whatever browser you guys have your form in and you refresh the page and uh, and you try to submit the form then you should not see any kind of alert come up but if you do see an alert come up and you have a modern browser then that probably means that you have a little bit of a typo in here so make sure that you have everything set up correctly and then let's move forward from here so what I said was if the Ajax object was not null we were going to utilize that Ajax object to grab all of the information from the form and send it to the server. So now I'm going to write all the code for that and then I'm going to explain it afterwards. So the first thing I want to do is I want to grab, as I said, information from the form to send to the server. So how are we going to grab that information? We're going to grab it by the ID. So if you think, this input here has a, this is the input in the form and the user will type in their information into this input box. So first thing we want to do is grab the information from this input box. So the way we are going to do that is just say var name is assigned document dot get element by ID. And the ID that we want to grab is form name. So that's why we had to do an ID on this input box. So say form name in there and then say dot value. So what this is saying is I want to scan the entire document. I want to look for an ID that says form name and I want to grab the value of whatever is in that ID and I want to place it in this variable. So now we have grabbed the first piece of what we want from the form. Now we need to grab the form comment. So in order to do that we can just do the same thing that we have here. So I'm going to copy this paste it right here and I'm going to change this to comment and change this to comment. So now we have two values. We have the value of whatever they typed in as their name and we have the value of whatever they typed in as their comment because if you think the user is going to type in some information here they're going to type in some information here so what we want to do when we click submit form is we want to grab the information from the name and we're going to grab the information from here. All right, I hope that makes sense. Now what we want to do is we want to send that information to the server. The problem is we can't just say, hey server, here's the name and here's the comment. The information needs to be formatted in a way that the server can read. So I want you guys to say something like this, var params is assigned. The parameters are what we are going to format our name and comment as. So what I'm going to type for mine is form name equals, and then I'm going to say plus and the name plus, and then I'm going to say form comment equals, and then plus and the comment. Now, two huge things about this. The first form name that I have should not have anything before the word form name. The second, third, fourth, and whatever other attributes I have need to have an ampersand before them. The second big thing, you may be wondering where on earth did I get this form name from? Why didn't I just say name? What, what, what does this attribute come from? Well, that came from my servlet because I am getting two parameters from this form. I'm getting form name and I'm getting form comment. So if you were using PHP and you said the parameters I wanted to get is name and comment, then here you should have name and here you should have comment. 
So whatever you have your parameters name as, you need to have them here so that when the server sees these two things, he will say, okay, this is the form name and here is the value. So you will be taking the name and plopping it here. Then you'll be taking the comment and plopping it there. So what I want to do right now is I want to just alert the params and let's see if it works correctly. So what this should say is whatever our attribute name is for you and then the name, so the actual name of what they typed into the form and then the form comment here and then the actual comment. So let's see if it worked. So I'm going to come in here, I'm going to refresh the browser. I'm going to say Chris Carrington and I'm going to say this is a comment. When I click submit form, now I see form name with no and percent before it and Chris Carrington and then it says and form comment equals this is a comment. If you don't see that then you have a problem and make sure where I got form name and form comment from is whatever attributes your, bra your um, server is expecting for those values. So it might be a little bit different for you. All right, so now we have configured our parameters in a way that the server will like. The server will say, okay, I understand what this means. This makes sense to me. So now that we've configured our parameters in the correct way, now we need to send those parameters to the server. So this is how you do it. I want you guys to type in, just write Ajax object dot open and then and then give me two um, empty um, braces and then type in true. The next thing I want you to say is Ajax object dot set request header. And in here, I just want you to put curly braces. And then here you say Ajax object dot send. All right, so the first one we are going to deal with is this Ajax object dot open. Basically what this is saying is I have my Ajax object that is supposed to be sent to the server and I want to open a request. So anytime you want to open a request with the server, you need to specify three things. The first thing you need to specify is whether this is a get request or if this is a post request. And if you remember, when we had our original form, we had uh, the form tag here, and one of our things was method equals post. So just like that, you will put that here. So you will say post. So this is like saying, um, or was it action, or what, what, whatever it was. So here's where you would say post. Uh, if you wanted to have it a get request, you would say get. Now, the next thing is where you want to send this request. So if you remember before, we used to have, I think that was for method, we would have that slash and then like success comment.php or submit form or add comment or whatever. So whatever, wherever you wanted to send your form request to before, you want to put that in this second parameter here. So mine, I'm pretty sure, was called submit form. And make sure that you do not do a forward slash. You should just do wherever you want it to go. So it might be for you something like submit form.php.jsp, or it might just be the name of the servlet. So the first attribute is whether it's a post or a get. And the second attribute is where you want to send the request. And then the third attribute is whether you want this to happen asynchronously or not asynchronously. If this is sent to true, this means you want this request to be opened asynchronously, meaning you do not want the page to refresh, you do not want the page to go to submit form, you don't want it to go anywhere, you want this to happen asynchronously. So that would make sense since we are utilizing Ajax here. But if you set this to false, it would basically be used the same way that we had it in the previous form. Okay, so I hope everyone understands what this line is saying. I want to open a post request. This is where I want to send it, and I want it to happen asynchronously. Now, in set request header, there's a whole bunch of stuff we have to type in here. So just say content dash type. And then give me a comma, and then type in application forward slash x dash www dash form dash url encoded all right that's it so 
we are sending a um, form to, we are sending parameters to our server. And if you want to send post parameters to a server, that post request has to have a header. And this is a great example of the kind of header you would want to send with the post request. And you are just saying that I want to have a content type of encoded data. This is all you're saying. And every single time you do this, you're going to type the same line of code. So this isn't something you need to memorize. It's all over the web. And it's just going to be the same thing every single time. This will not change. And the last thing we want to do is we want to say what we actually want to send to that server. So we've said that we want it to be a post request. We've said where we want to send it. And we've said that we want it to happen asynchronously. So what do we want to actually send to submit form? We want to send the parameters. So these params that we made here, we want to send that to the um, actual server and save it. So now what this is saying is, I want to open up an AJAX request, and as long as the AJAX object is not null, I want to grab the parameters from the, um, from the form, and I want to configure the parameters in a nice way that the server will understand, and then I want to send the parameters down here. So if we go back to our form, and we refresh everything and I come into MAMP and I look at my browse and I see that I do not have any information for this um, form so far but if I type in Chris Carrington and I will say something like this is an Ajax request and I click submit form you will see absolutely nothing happens but if we come into our database and we click browse now we see Chris Carrington this is an Ajax request, so it worked. Doesn't look too pretty right now because it just kind of it doesn't give any prompt to the user or anything. But as we can see now, it will actually send our information asynchronously. And how did we do that? We grabbed all the information from the document, we configured it correctly, and then we sent it. It's as simple as that. So thank you for watching. This has been Christopher Carrington with GMUstudent.com. And in the next tutorial, we are going to make our form look a little bit nicer. So we're going to learn how to clear out the form after they click Submit Form and how to prompt the user and say, this form has been submitted correctly and how to do all kinds of things to make sure that the user knows that they actually submitted the form instead of just making it look bland like this. So thank you all for watching. Hope the tutorial was useful and I will see you all in the next tutorial.